targeted security agencies in Ekiti State to immediately rescue those that were abducted to avoid casualties. The president says the perpetrators must face the wrath of the law. In a statement, President Tinubu uh, said through his special advisor on media and publicity, Ajuri Ngalali, condoling with the families and subjects of the traditional rulers, as well as Governor Biodu Yibanji and the people of Ikiti State. Well, this is what we will be treating head on now. Joining us is Executive Director, Emergency and Risk Alert Security, Wenga Olaji Igbe. Good morning. Thank you for joining us on TVC Breakfast. All right, talking about the disturbing Good dimensions. It's been real, Olaji. It's been it's been real, Apologies, apologies. It's actually written as such. Uh, so my apologies, uh, sincere apologies indeed. All right, so Mr. Ben Roll um, your quick reactions now, talking about this um, disturbing dimensions of insecurity that we've been seeing in the Southwest and uh, across the country. Can you hear me, Mr. Well, Ben Roll? It's, it's, it's disturbing because we have. We have allowed it to fester for a very long time without a comprehensive uh, strategy to engage it. I think what the president should quickly do now, one, he must accept that we have a very present and imminent danger in the country. We are talking of it to, uh, today. We don't know where we'll be talking of tomorrow. Uh, about a week or two ago, ago we watched helplessly how Abuja was gradually uh, descending to a sort of uh, uh, anarchy, uh, no times to violence that accompany uh, the kidnap and every sundry crime that we have been found in, uh, that has been happening in almost all part of the country. So our situation is so despicable and this, uh, uh, taking uh, going by silo solution will not help us because we are dealing with a very mobile uh, crisis. Mobile crisis in the sense that it can happen in Ekiti today. And then uh, uh, when we, 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 we thought we have done with Ekiti, Ondo will rise again, Oyo will rise again, and elsewhere in the country, next tomorrow it could be heavy. So there must be a very comprehensive national strategy to engage this problem. Mm. And the way to do it is one, appreciation, uh, appreciation of the enormity of the problem, mm. particularly by the president, who should lead the process uh, of, of, of that strategy development. But what I will suggest is that no matter the strategy that the president may want to come up with, the president, must, uh, the strategy must be multi-leveled and it must be multi-stage. Multi-stage in the sense that, for example, now the president can quickly set up a committee of experts in conflict, in terrorism, in all, uh, all other crime and criminalities, bring them together to conduct a very rapid assessment and situate within uh, situate this condition in every part of the country, the state we have in Nigeria. Secondly, it must be le multi-level because when you are looking for a situation like this, it has to happen at the local level, community level in this way, uh, a local government level, state level, and at the same time, the coordinating level, which is the uh, central or federal level. So such things should happen. But quickly, for the sake of equity, one, the president has asked the police or the security operative to rescue these children. And what need to be quickly, uh, what should be done now is to begin to, assuming that uh, we have been carrying out surveillance in terms of uh, monitoring the environment, and of course, whenever this top of thing happen, within 20, uh, 30 to one hour, we are able to track where the, uh, the, 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 uh, the part of the uh, kidnappers, it will have been easy. But all that done, mobilize all forces within the, it's uh, southwest now, in order to comb the forest where these children are likely to be taken with. It has been confirmed that for eight hours, within eight hours, 
assuming that they are taken to the forest, they will not be able, uh, able to cover more than 40 kilometer radius of where they are taken from. So that should be done urgently, quickly, comb the forest, look and uh, get information where possible, and of course, seek for information through intelligence so that we can track this uh, 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 unscrupulous elements in our society that are asking parents of poor people to pay uh, 10, 10 million per child now, so that the president should be on top, it should be on top of this until these children are rescued. Mm. And of course, we are talking today because I think the, the, the situation is very loud because some king have been killed. Mm. The poor people have been killed severally and consistently without generating this type of roar. But it's good that it's touching <coughs> everybody so that we begin to appreciate the fact that security is indeed everybody's problem, both the poor and the rich, both the, uh, the high, the mighty, and the low, those in the lowest rung of society. Right. Uh, probably, so quickly, sorry, sorry the president should not, issue, should not issue statement alone. He should back it up by monitoring them, uh, opening room for consistent frequent, timely accountability from those who are in the operation. Interesting. Uh, probably you meant um, that it's worse enough that it's getting to everyone because the question everyone will be asking for two kings, you know, of that magnitude to, to be killed by these marauders or these kidnappers or whoever, whatever I want to call them, they're criminals, you know, in the, at the end of the day. Uh, Southwest is known as one of the... Uh, is, is known as the safest zone or region in, in this country. And to have that happen, it means that so many things have actually gone wrong under which we probably do not know or we know we look the other way around. What does this say about the security network that we already have in place because of the call for having state police, which the Oyo State Governor has also re-echoed well, know, when he was talking to the... the um, there, is no, there is no apology for that. The president himself has campaigned for this state police and particularly restructuring the country, even before he became the president. He has been on it in the last 20 years that there is need to restructure this country. And part of that restructuring the country uh, will consequently come with management of security. Management of security means that security cannot and should not be centralized. It's a local problem. For example, people are picked up in Ekiti today. And of course, if Ekiti have a standby, a complete resource security operative, they will immediately go forth before even you hear it in the, at the central level. It doesn't matter. And of course, they have the advantage of knowing the context, the geography of the place. Uh, they have the advantage of knowing the, the local nuances, those that they are going to contact in order to uh, facilitate easy, early, and of course, quick response. So it's not negotiable. The president knows this. And one of the things that I expected the president to have done immediately at the threshold of his administration was not even talking of economy at all. Economy is important, but then we have a very dear problem of security. It doesn't matter what you get out of economy. It's going to amount to nothing if you don't have security. For example, now, no matter the gain we have made in the removal of square subsidy, we have come back to square one because most of this money will be spent to address the issue of security, which is not going to contribute much to the economy. So you can't joke with security. That is the first thing I was expecting. Mobilize the country together. Mobilize the country across board so that we find a very common problem, a common solution to this oil of violence that have taken our country by the jugular. And then we can now begin to place, okay, economy and everything. Let me tell you what the decision have done. One, the decision has worsened poverty, the, uh, of poor, oil poor remover. It has worsened poverty. It has made life meaningless to especially the poor people. It has pushed a lot of people into crime into kidnap, uh, crimes such as kidnapping and other things. So the president should appreciate the fact that security comes along with everything and all things that we need, including peace of mind, uh, a conducive environment for businesses, especially for farming. 
we are talking of the, 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 the food insecurity in this country today is palpable. That is, people cannot access food, people cannot afford food, and of course, uh, the, 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 the people don't even have food. They don't eat well. So those are challenges. And when you are come, you can't make the basic need, what Maslow categorized as the basis in the hierarchy of need. The country is doomed to have security challenges like we are facing today. Mm. So, and most importantly, we should know that this is a fluid security problem. Mm. Fluid in the sense that there is no state, even though you call them a kitty state, Ondo state, Kebi state, Nasarawa, Imo state, there are no physical boundary preventing a criminal from moving from one area to the other. These are issues that state police can at least competently undo because there will be definition of jurisdiction of operation of this state police from one state to the other. And then if a state is overwhelmed and it can't help itself in a situation like this, it will quickly call the other state. I'm equally happy that on those states have deployed Amateku to comb forests and everything. That is strategic and that is good operation. Uh, 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 that is good tactics in the sense that uh, a Ondo is contiguous to Ekiti by the fact of the geography. Mm. So when you have state police like this, that type of cooperation, that type of integration in terms of security management will be affordable, will be possible, and of course, will be a, a, a great contributor to reduction of risk uh, of uh, insecurity. Uh, Another dimension to this now, especially on the extent of uh, Moteko's operations, is that uh, observers are even saying, like uh, Otoba Ghani Adams was saying, that even governors are not engaging them enough, uh, considering the uh, advantages that they bring to the issue of curbing insecurity. Uh, I wonder what you make of uh, this, um, you know, this twist. Uh, that governors do not engage yes, not and choice. other local we security have, outfits. We are bound to have cacophony of voices in this mm. because it has not been well managed. I've said it earlier that the, the strategy to be put in place must be multi-level. That is, people's, you have to incorporate people's opinion at community level, at local level, at state level, and at central or federal level in order to make this thing work effectively. And we are not going to focus on the bullet alone. Why do you, people don't just become terrorists? They don't just become terrorists. What is pushing them out of, uh, a, 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 of the society that we are in? Look at it. People are almost, if you look at the young people in Nigeria coming out, with unemploy, coming out into employment market, in thousands, in droves, and then we are not doing anything about that. So what are we planning for? When we don't take our state responsibility serious, we, we have this will be part of the fallout. And of course, it up to state in some instances that the state actually prepare the crime that people commit. If you let you are less care about the standard and, uh, and condition of living of your people, the running and uh, extremely high population. The dollar today now is 1,500 naira. It has implication for what you buy. How many poor people can even buy kerosene? Of course, do they even have food to cook in the first place? Those are the things we are going to bring on board. And the president of the national uh, and the state level will now develop strategies to address this issue, stage by stage, and at each level of governance, including community level. Those are issues we should be talking of. It's not about killing terrorists. How many are you going to kill? People don't care about life when they are hungry and they have no hope. And they become criminal, they become more audaciously cruel. The type of cruelty we have in this country today, look at the mindless corruption that has been taking place in this country over years. And of course, the one we heard of recently. Then these are the motivators for criminal to uh, equally have for 100 million when they can have even a primary school teacher. Where is he going to get that money for God's sake? So something is essentially, critically, and of course, uh, frighteningly wrong with our society. Mm. We must not condone. I've told, I've said that the president, it doesn't matter how close that person is to, to him in his government. As long as there is corruption, that person should be quickly removed.
For example, I don't know the type of uh, panel that is meeting for uh, over a month now that have not come to a conclusion on better issues. Corruption, whether we like it or not, is a species of violence. And is the one that sends signal to the people. After all, those who are higher than you are doing it without gun. And they have no such opportunity of being in office to get to be corrupt. So they take advantage of what they have, albeit illegally, albeit cruelly, albeit inhumanly. Right, Mr. Adibiru, uh, you know, so you've actually, we should, we Mr. Olaji, we rather. on this and bring everything on board so that we arrive at common solution That's right. to a very urgent, imminent danger our country and society is facing today. For very fantastic. You mentioned, um, you know, arriving at solution, and that's the reason why we are having you to, you know, discuss this issue. But then you've actually put so many things on the table. At first, you said that, well, the, the government, the, the, government appears to be running after you know stabilizing the economy ensuring that the naira is stabilized etc and then at the other in another breath you make us understand that um the president should leave the issue of the economy at first and tackle insecurity now you're making us to also understand that um without economy the, the economy being fixed which is the reason while some have actually gone into criminality then the security issues will not be you know uh, uh, brought to a standstill Exactly how would you advise the government to tackle these issues head on? Because it appears multifaceted. One, I have told us that the choices of economy, even if you have to address economy. Yes. Yes. One, urgently and now, and not by pa pa palliative, there is anger in society. People are hungry. People are hungry. Mm. And people are ruthlessly angry. So uh, what should be done immediately is that, one, since the, the, uh, 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 maybe for another time, I don't think we have the time now, I will have done the analysis and implications and, of course, the consequences that have come with the policy of oil remover. But we don't have time for that now. But quickly now, there is hunger in society. People cannot assess basic needs. That should be met. Urgently, side by side with that, there must be a working solution one, get the people that are in bushes, whether in Kaduna, whether in Nikiti, everything now. Let us see how our security uh, uh, operatives, agencies can get them out now. So, and how to get them out, you have to equip those who are, are doing that. But one thing I want us to equally understand is that even those you are sending to get them out, whether police personnel, whether military personnel, they are equally victims of the economy. So let us not forget that. That is why I'm saying that if we had started without introducing, there, there wasn't an intrusion of a policy that trigger poverty at the first instance, at the threshold of this uh, administration, we will have managed it better. That's why I'm saying that everything seems as it's getting out of control now. But that has been done. The damage has been done and we cannot continue to lament too. But we must appreciate that it's a contributor to the spike Insecurity challenges we are facing. And now, get those people out, map a strategy to get them out. Assume their family. How can coppers be kept in Safara Forest? Five of them out of seven are still there up to now, mm -hmm. in the last 179 days. And they are still there and we are comfortable, we are comfortable here. So get, get across to their parents, let them know what you are doing if you cannot address it the country as a whole of, uh, about that. And that is how humane society evolve. Not that you leave everybody to its problem. My, personally, I've had my challenge this day. Uh, my office has been boggled, destroyed in September, this uh, la la last year. So we are all victims in a society that is not well Govern that is not well resourced security wise and everything. So it goes back to destroy most of the economy we think we are building. So our economy, for example, now, as I'm talking to you now, villages, communities, houses of the poor people have been developed, have been demolished in Abuja. Even if they are wrong, this is it's not the time to do that for God's sake. You are adding to our problems. That is what I'm saying. So we should talk, begin to do consequence analysis of for every action that government will take, whether at state level, whether at federal level. 
This is an issue we should come on board and discuss and everything. It's good to demolish us for development. But then, you can't just chase people out of uh, hundreds and thousands of people. You demolish their houses. What do you want them to become? They, be they become haters of that society that has pushed them out. And they, launch, they come back against that society in a very virulent and violent way. These are problems and challenges we are facing in Nigeria. And we don't think to do competent and, of course, correct analysis to understand them first before we begin to deploy action. And so let, let us also spare a few minutes now uh, with you on board, of course, uh, talking about this um, influx of um, weapons that we see at the, um, the possession, you know, being possessed by this uh, mar uh, marauders. We're hearing talk about highly sophisticated weapons. Uh, if and when Amoteku, you know, comes on board and other local security outfits, yes. how, how do we beat these yes. people yes. at the yes. game? Yes. And how do we also tame that influx? Well, you see, this combat to where we, are, where we are in form of corruption. We have people, look, border security is not just by name. That means that those people are conscious of their work and they know that they have responsibility to this country to disallow anything that could be used to destroy this country, to vandalize the property in this country and critical infrastructure in this country. That is the work of immigration and custom when they get to the border. But what do, you, what do you see today? They get compromised, and when they get compromised, every day can only bring light weapons, arms, and ammunition to the country, on check. Even at the seaport, that is why I told you that if a country wants to die of violence, it will start with corruption. That is why don't give an inch to corruption, because it has a far-reaching consequences when you don't tame that, particularly at your border. Everywhere today, in some cases, those who know say that uh, even gun is cheaper than bread. So what do you make of that? And you have a population for crime to take place in the society. There are, there are, there are three things that must happen. Number one, there, will be, there, there must be motivation for the criminal. Our environment of unemployment, environment where people cannot take out a living, is a motivation. Number two, number two, there must be tool to commit that crime, that crime. And we are talking of light weapon and arms and ammunition available that are they are ubiquitous in Nigeria now, everywhere you go. So the tools is there, and of course. They can choicelessly, without making choice or discrimination, identify their, who, who is their potential victims and everything. So our environment has everything in reservation for commission of crime, for commission of violent one like kidnapping that we are talking of today, and of course terrorism that has been our, 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 our burden in the last uh, one and a half decades. Right. Uh, very quickly, I'm not sure we have enough time. But then some of the so, corruption, some of the students that had been okay. kidnapped in AKT, uh, those of them who escaped the kidnapping uh, while talking to the press said that they could tell that um, some of these kidnappers are headsmen. And we know that in this part of the world, in this part yes, of I, the, the I country, I, well, uh, could you allow me quickly uh, you know, finish my question? Thank you, sir. Uh, you know, some of these uh, people they know the forest. They, they've actually traversed the length and breadth of the forest. So who do you think can help in fishing out these people? Is it the, hunt, the local hunters who know, who know the topography of, of this forest? Yes, that is what I am saying, that when you have state police, state police now we mop our strategy to include this place. I'm advocating inclusive security governance, whether you call them local hunters and everything, but that there must be a coordinating body for them to be accountable. They must be held accountable. It's not only in the equity situation that uh, they talk of airmen, uh, uh, airmen. Some people who were arrested in Nemo State, I think two or three days ago, they are equally as men. But what we should say is that, one, we should be able to profile, profile the signatures of this criminal 
and begin to identify the pattern of behavior of S men or the one that is not S men. If we are able to get their signature, the modules of parenting and everything, and those who can engage to ensure that we liquidate their plan of destroying the countries and the people of the country, then that will help.